Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that. We have a few stocks up 5%, a green day overall for individual stocks. Palantir up 4%, Roku up 3.9% and the list goes on and on. We even had ChargePoint down 35% just in one day and their three month chart is an absolute disaster down 71% in the past three months and 84% in the last year. And from all time highs, they're now down 95% from $46 per share. So make sure you're subscribed on YouTube for all the full length videos because we're going to be doing a future video on ChargePoint and if it's a disaster and just leave it alone, forget about it, or if it's a stock that could possibly come back. But in this video, what we're going to be talking about is earnings week because although it is short, it is still exciting. Remember, this is a short week due to Thursday because Thanksgiving is on Thursday and the stock market is closed on thursday keep in mind this could be a green week because the stock market tends to rise before the holidays and also keep in mind we have early dismissal on friday with the stock market closing early due to black friday but this week is still exciting nonetheless because we have the golden child the golden stock of 2023 reporting earnings and that my friends is nvidia ticker symbol n v d a reporting tuesday after the close alongside hp and that's really it we also have like jack in the box and nordstrom and autodesk but they're not as heavy hitters as nearly as heavy hitters as something like nvidia or even hp but nvidia is still on another level now let's go backwards from tuesday before the open we have kohl's reporting best buy lulz baidu dicks sporting good and burlington all reporting just before the open on tuesday so needless to say tuesday is going to be in a very exciting and eventful earnings day to be tracking and to keep your eye on uh home depot already reported so we can get some insights off lulls with kohl's we already had macy's and jc penny reporting and then with baidu we did have alibaba reporting now they are a different company entirely but they're still a chinese-based stock so it could give you a slight insight on uh baidu earnings when we wake up monday morning right when the stock market opens not much is going to be going on but stick around because after the close on monday we have zoom which is going to be moving huge amounts so here we have an interesting analyst article as thanksgiving draws near it's my customary practice to pause and reflect on all aspects of life deserving of gratitude, which is a great way to start the article and a great way to start your week as well. So the first stock that we're going to be talking about is Baidu, the Chinese-based company, ticker symbol B-I-D-U. What to watch? Navigating through the rough waters of Chinese tech market hasn't been a stroll in the park in 2023 at all. Post-global Pandemic repercussions have left even the seemingly undervalued stocks of the Chinese internet companies in the doldrums. But the attractiveness of Baidu, which is looking grossly undervalued, is hard to ignore. The stock has fallen 20% over the last six months, including a 13% decline in the past 30 days. The shares are down 5.5% year to date compared to 17% in the S&P 500. China's regulatory crackdown on tech companies has been one of the main reasons for Baidu's struggles. China's SAMR has demanded better corporate governance, anti-competitive practices, and improved political posture, all of which sparked fear amongst U.S. investors that Baidu's core marketing business won't grow as expected. Remember, they're like the Google of China. And with these crackdowns, that's what's really pushing U.S. investors away because the marketing business is the biggest sector of Baidu, okay? Nor will it be able to accelerate its gro uh, growth in the cloud sector, which the U.S.-based companies like Amazon and Microsoft and Google are doing really well right now, and that's where they're seeing their biggest growths is in the cloud sector as of right now. But now could be a good time to bet on a recovery. The company's Q3 revenue is expected to rise on a year-over-year -year basis, which will mark the third consecutive quarter of revenue growth. Revenue surged 15% in the second quarter, 
Baidu's AI investments and its efforts to establish leadership in the China's AI sector is another reason for the optimism going into the earnings report. The company has also shown a committed a commitment to return on capital to shareholders via buybacks. Baidu's board of directors earlier this year approved a $5 billion buyback uh, program effective all the way through 2025. So that's implying that Baidu could be a steal and be, you know, good thing to dollar cost average into over the next two to three years. This is certain to reward long term investors for any of this perceived value to matter on Tuesday, the company must speak positively about the growth potential for the next year and beyond. So yes, BABA did fall on earnings. And after this video, you might want to do a deep dive onto BABA and the Chinese based stock on BABA and the earnings and see if it could affect anything here. But what we're going to be really looking for on um, Baidu is for them to report great guidance for the next year. We really need them to speak positively about their guidance, their cloud growth, their advertising growth, and so on. So if we hear positive sentiment in their earnings report or even a somewhat neutral, slightly positive, I'm going to be picking up a few shares of Baidu myself. Now, after we have NVIDIA, Wall Street expects NVIDIA to earn around $3.10 per share with revenue $14.89 billion. This compares to a year ago quarter when earnings came out $0.58 cents per share on revenues of $5.93 billion. What to watch on earnings for the most scrutinized stock of the entire year? What can be said about NVIDIA that has not already been said with the stock's year-to-date gains close to 240%? Holy cow, crushing the 17% rise in the S&P 500 index, the market has run out of superlatives. Expanding that horizon by one year and three years, the graphic chips giant has skyrocketed 210 and 265% respectively. For investors who are thinking of taking profits, consider that despite the strong stock performance in 2023, the shares still are somehow appearing cheap. This is because the stock has risen. The company has continued to raise profits forecasts, uh, providing the euphoria surrounding artificial intelligence, AI, and generative AI is more than hype. Okay, remember... The profits, the, let's go back to that line where it said the, the company has continued to raise its profits forecast. So they think they're going to be making billions of dollars. And then they, they're telling everyone, yeah, we're going to make X amount of billions of dollars. And then they come back and say, oh, actually, just kidding. We're going to be making twice that much that we thought we were going to be making. Obviously, that's going to be raising the price like crazy. And it could... Um, be an undervalued stock if they continue to do that and blow away analyst expectations. Okay, that's how the stock market works. NVIDIA's second quarter numbers and Q3 guidance suggest there is some sort of relentless demand for AI. And the question is, will it die down this AI hype in 2024? Or will it strengthen and be stronger than ever and see new developments in AI in 2024? And majority of investors and bulls are going to say the latter is true, especially in the data center where companies' revenues surge threefold on a year over year basis. As a result, analysts are projecting NVIDIA stock to go even higher. The stock has a consensus price target of $580 per share for analysts on average. And that's um, up, obviously, from current levels of $493 per share. That assumes an additional premium of close to 20% rise that could happen in the next 12 months still. In the second quarter, NVIDIA reported adjusted EPS of $2.70, which breezed past analyst expectations by a whopping 30%. For some context, NVIDIA not only blew away its own guidance of $2.07, the consensus estimate for the quarter a year ago was only a modest $1.07 per share, which they more than doubled, ended up doubling that number. Q3 
Q2 revenue also crushed Wall Street's estimates by a staggering 22%, coming in at $13.5 billion, while Wall Street was looking for around $11.1 billion. Unveiled in 2022, NVIDIA, NVIDIA's generative AI accelerators have already sized market shares from competitors like AMD and Intel especially, who are only in the development stages, even Microsoft also. But to continue with the stock's upward trend, the company on Wednesday must continue to tout its growth prospects for the next quarter and beyond. So this earnings quarter is not only significant for Baidu, uh, but it's super, super significant for NVIDIA. And there's a good chance they are going to beat earnings and they are going to blow away analysts once again. And if that happens, then the share price is just going to continue to rise. Okay, and there's no ceiling. But also the reverse is, is true. If NVIDIA, you know, everyone's expecting these awesome and amazing earnings from NVIDIA and then they just report just even not even bad earnings. They just report decent earnings you know, not blowing away analysts, but not also, but not disappointing analysts at the same time, guess what? The stock is still going to go down. So NVIDIA has to put out really great guidance. They have to beat their numbers by a large amount. And that's the way we're going to see NVIDIA stock rise, in my opinion. And there's a good chance we do see it rise, in my opinion, also on earnings. So if you guys want to see exactly what stocks I'm buying before and after earnings, what option trades I'm doing, what strike prices, expiration dates, and everything in between, message me here, The Daily Stock Market on Instagram. Now over 218,000 followers, 853 posts. We've been doing this for years and years and years and have thousands of positive testimonials. Click on success number nine in the highlight section of my Instagram and read through some of these positive testimonials yourself. Thanks a lot, Alec. Since joining your close friends list in Discord, great trading month, over 96% gains. And the list goes on and on. If you have five, 10 minutes, read through all the positive testimonials and success nine. And if you get bored or want to continue to read, go to success number eight, success number seven, success number six, and you can read every single positive testimonial that's been happening for the last couple months, weeks, and even years also. Thank you guys for all the love and continued support, not only on YouTube, but also on Instagram. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you're subscribed, double check, to, and if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe, like this video, share this with a stock market investor friend that loves NVIDIA or you just wanna pr help prepare for the trading week ahead. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.